All right, what you're looking at there is a, uh, <clears throat> a bottle with a funny looking cap on it. This cap here is a fizz giz cap. And what makes it a fizz giz cap? Well, it's just a regular bottle cap with a hole in it and it's got a valve. That happens to be a football valve. You can get one of these by taking a football from a neighborhood kid and cutting it open and get the valve out. Okay, or you can buy one from me. All right, I'm gonna show you something here. All right, it was pressurized. This valve looks like this on the inside. Now, there are several kinds of uh, Fizz-Giz caps. You can make Fizz-Giz caps out of pretty much anything. My Primo Fizz-Giz cap looks like this. It has a clear valve, comes on new caps that do have a tamper ring attached. This thing, you screw it on the bottle, and when you unscrew it, it comes off. It's a tamper ring. It's to let you know in a store if somebody has opened your bottle and tampered with it. That, that's a, this just detaches, and the cap will eventually look like that. Do you see? This has a tamper ring. This one here has already come off. All right, here's a metal cap that's been adapted and made into a fizz giz cap. All right, fits a different kind of a bottle. All right, I want to show you something. We're going to uh, uh, use a, uh, a gauge like this that has a uh, football or a sports needle on it. It's, uh, you would attach that to a bicycle pump and use it to pump up your basketball or your football. You can put it into these black valves like this, you see, and it goes all the way through. Um, and it'll read the pressure inside the bottle. You cannot use this kind of an apparatus. You cannot use this and punch it into here. If you do, you will break this valve instantly. It is broken the very second that you push it in. Never put one of these in one of my clear valves. They only work on football valves. You don't have to shake it too much. You're good. All right, uh, so I'll show you something real quick. I'm going to uh, pressurize this bottle using a uh, a source of CO2. So, here we go. If you're curious and you'd like to know how much pressure I'm putting into this bottle. All right, the bottle's fully pressurized. Maybe a little bit more. Let's let's get a reading here. You get a good close-up reading there. Okay, I'll push it down. All right, so we're reading about uh, roughly 120 psi here. Uh, that's good enough. Back off there. All right, now let's let some pressure out. Let's take another reading. Okay, I'm gonna take another reading. See what we left out. Okay, just a little squirt brought it all the way down to roughly about uh, uh, 60 psi. All right, 60 psi is touted to be what. Uh, four volumes, what is that, four times 15 uh, psi atmospheric pressure, that would be four volumes of CO2 in here. And just let a little bit more out. All right, brought it on down, let's see what we got now. Okay, it's down to about uh, 15 psi uh, gauge, which would be about the pressure of beer, uh, not soda. Soda's normally four volumes, which is 60 beers to, uh, and the gauge pressure on it will read 15. All right, all right. Okay, hope everybody uh, understands that, and uh, that's about it. All right.